This is a 4340 alloy steel, 34 Rockwell, uh, going about 350 surface feet and 6 thou per rev, which translates in metric to about 107 and 0.15. Uh, the machine that we're running on today is a Haas VF, uh, VF3, uh, and the coolant pressure we have set at about 300 PSI. So let's take a look at the chip that we create here. It's got a nice, a nice curl to it. That's pretty good chip formation. And this 4340 is you know, relatively hard, but it can still have a tendency sometimes to not want to form a chip really, really well. So this gives us a good chip form. We'll kind of show you the whole. Now this is a small one, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see. Now let's try to get it tilted around here so you can see it. Uh, finish wise, that is a really good finish. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. Now you can see it. That looks pretty good there. The speed and feed we're going to be running is 500 surface feet a minute, 17 thou per rev. Uh, that translates to a little over 152 meters a minute, 0 0.43 millimeters per rev, still 300 PSI of coolant. As you can see there's plenty of coolant coming out there, so it's a, it's a pretty good flow for you. Um, these are the chips that we get which is pretty indicative of what you're gonna see with ductile cast iron, because once again, since it's a discontinuous chip forming material, um, these are the chips you're gonna get with pretty much anything from a really sharp cutting tool to a butter knife. So uh, that's just the way that it works out. Based on you know my calibrated finger there, I'd say this is probably about a, about a 50 finish somewhere in that neighborhood. If I were to give you a guess on the 4340 application, my guess would be that it's probably somewhere in a 30 to 40 range. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be uh, pretty quick because we're running 1,100 surface feet a minute, 20 thou per rev, about 150 inches per minute penetration rate. Uh, once again in metric, uh, 335 and some change. And uh, in uh, feed rate, it's 0 0.51 millimeters per rev. So once again, this should be a three hole pattern. And uh, we'll get this cut pretty quickly here. So there's the coolant. You can see there's plenty of it there, so which is what we're going to need based on how quickly this is going to go. Okay. Okay, so here's the chips that we got from the aluminum. Uh, once again, running at 150 surface feet per minute, or 150, 1100 surface feet per minute, 20 thou per rev. Let me get all this straight here. Okay, so we're going to take a look at what the, what the whole quality looks like. There you go, you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, finish wise, uh, it's still got kind of a rougher finish to it. Um, but if I needed a better finish, I can either follow that up with a, a boring tool or a reamer, and by the way, we make those too. Um, or uh, we could alter our speeds and fees, try to improve that surface finish a little bit. 